All right, today we're going to look at L angles of elevation and angles of depression. So we'll first start out, okay, what's an angle of elevation? So if we're looking on the horizon, if you look here, he's down on the pathway, and he's looking up to a, uh, so if you look at, you have this horizontal line right here, he's on the ground, he's looking up from this horizontal line to the airplane, that would be an angle of elevation. If you look here, from the plane, if I were in the plane, I'm flying across, if I'm looking down at this guy, that would be an angle of depression. So him, so you looking down from your horizontal line would be depression. Him, here's your horizontal line, looking up would be an angle of elevation. So those are two things uh, we look at as we go forward. Um, so you write it down. Give you a little bit of time, and now you can We'll go forward from there. So if we look at this, um, if I'm looking from the lighthouse, if I'm up in that lighthouse, and I'm looking down at the boat, would that be an angle of elevation or an angle of depression? So again, horizontal line, we're looking below or down from that horizontal line, that would be an angle of depression. If I'm at the boat and I'm looking up to the lighthouse, so here's my horizontal line, the water here, I'm looking above that line, so that would be an angle of elevation. So angle one is an angle of depression, and angle two would be elevation. Okay, you saw, you sight a rock climber on a cliff, so you're down on the ground at an angle of 32 degrees. The horizontal ground distance to the cliff is 1,000 feet, so we'll kind of draw it. So you're looking here, you look up, you see it like this. Okay, you look up from here, you look up, this is 32 degrees. We have this distance from you to the Cliff, if we were to go there, the horizontal distance would be a thousand feet. Okay, find the line of sight, uh, uh, distance to the rock climber. So, what's the distance from here to here? Your line of sight. So, you looking at it. that's what we want to find. Well, if you look at this, you have this angle right here. This would be adjacent over the hypotenuse. So, adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine. So, we'd say cosine of 32 degrees equals adjacent over hypotenuse, and then we solve from there. So just for a reminder going back over yesterday's lesson. So we go ahead, move x to the opposite side by multiplying, then divide by cosine 32 degrees, and it gives us about 1,179 feet, which is good. This is our hypotenuse, it should be the longest side. If I were to get anything less than 1,000 feet, I know I did something wrong. This should be the longest side. Okay, find the value of x, round the lengths to the nearest tenth. So this is just a, um, a little practice. So here's our side. We want to solve for x here. This side's 29 degrees. This line and this line are parallel. So if these two lines are parallel, what type of angle is this and this? These would be alternate interior angles. And so we know that this angle right here is 29 degrees. So if this is 29 degrees, we have the side opposite of it and they side adjacent to it. So we use tangent of 29 equals opposite over adjacent. Then to solve for x, we multiply by 57, and we'd solve, it'd be 31.6 feet. So this is just a little bit different using, again, alternate interior angles. So an airplane pilot sights a life route at an angle of 26 degrees, so plane is up high in the sky, it's looking down at the rock. Um, angle of depression going down. The airplane's altitude is three kilometers. Altitude is how high above the uh, ground it is. What is the airplane's surface distance from the rock? So let's kind of draw this. We have an airplane up above. It's looking down. It sights down at 30. So from its horizontal line, it sights down 32 degrees so we have, or 26 degrees. So then we want to know, okay, we know the height, the, the plane above the earth is three kilometers, right here. We want to know what is this distance down here. Now a couple things again, what we did just before, this line and this line, these two lines are parallel, so these two angles are alternate interior. So we want to find out for dig, so we look at, this would be opposite over adjacent. So that would be tangent ratio. So we go opposite over adjacent, multiply by D to get D out of the denominator, then divide by tangent 26, 
and we get it equal to about 6.2 kilometers. Our last, oh, that was it. So these are, so drawing it out is the biggest thing. So I want to see pictures, where there's a lot of story problems, angle of elevation, angle of depression using this idea, just, uh, and staying with Sokotoa. So sine, uh, cosine, and tangent.